You know, I started this interview off by telling you about um, a 52-year-old man who died of throat cancer. I want to tell you about another 52-year-old, and um, her name was Kathy, and she wasn't a hospice patient. She was my best friend. She was my lover. She was my soulmate. She was she was my she was my person. And in 2017, February of 2017, she was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer that had spread to her brain, her lymph nodes, her liver. And what was amazing was she had never smoked a day in her life. I mean, she was, and she was so healthy and she had, there were no big symptoms. She just had a little back pain. Um, this was February 14th. Um, she lived until um, September 28th, so we had six months t together after this, and God was so merciful to her because she wasn't in pain, and and she she we just we we were very blessed. But she actually passed when we were in Destin, Florida, and uh, we really thought she was beating cancer because she felt so good, and we were doing a lot of traveling. But what happened was um, we had gone to Destin to see my son, and. So we're in Destin, we spend the day on the beach, the next day she says, ah, I don't feel good. And so we call our oncologist, she says, go to the hospital. So we go to the hospital and within 24 hours she was gone. But I tell you this story because we were in Destin, it's just the two of us and I'm sitting on her bed and we know that she's dying. And I look at her and I say, listen, are you afraid? And she says, baby, I'm not afraid at all. She says, God is so good. And then she looks at me, she says, I love you, scruff dog. And she gave me a great big hug. And uh, she literally, she died in my arms. And I got to be honest with you. At that moment, there were no regrets. There were no, we wish we would have, we wish we could have, why didn't we? We had lived a marriage by design. And, and I just felt like I was the most blessed guy in the world to have had her in my life. Subsequently, she very much wanted me to, to get remarried. And I've met and married Jennifer, who has um, given me this opportunity to, to learn that no, there is marriage by design, that when you're intentional about building something phenomenal, um, that everything changes.